Well, the longer days and warmer weather in spring make it a good time to do the things you've put off all winter, like maybe seeing your doctor, getting a fresh start on your health. Dr. Jolene Huber is here now with some tips on staying healthy this spring season. She's a pediatrician and professor of medicine at the University of Toronto. Thanks so much for joining us again. Thanks for having me. So why is spring a good time to see your doctor? So a lot of us have been really inactive over the winter. We tend to stay indoors. Um, people tend to put on a few more pounds usually in the winter and just hibernate. And so the spring is a really good time for a fresh start. I often think that if we had our New Year's resolutions as springtime resolutions, we might keep them a little bit better because people want to get outdoors now and want to get active. Um, we've been out of the sun, so often our vitamin D levels are a little bit lower and people tend to put off seeing the doctor. They only go for coughs and colds. So it's really important to go and get a checkup, even if you're feeling healthy, get things like your blood pressure checked. As we're going into summertime and spring, it's good to get your skin checked so that um, you can get your moles checked and make sure you're going into the summer that um, everything's good that way. Yeah, kind of like a tune-up. A tune-up, yeah. It's, it's health prevention. And a lot of people are spring cleaning their homes. Uh, what can happen there? Like, I mean, would it make you sick to clean up your home? I guess all the dust that you're bringing up. So, right. I mean, if you have allergies, for sure, cleaning cleaning up can be a, a dusty time for people with mold and dust allergies. But it's also a good time when you're doing your spring cleaning to think about cleaning out your medication cabinet. So your medication cabinet will have um, unused medications or medications that are expired. And so I always think of the springtime. Do your spring cleaning. If you always remember, let's clean out the medication cabinet and bring any unused medications to the pharmacy. Don't drop them down the toilet, don't dump them in the garbage because that can get into the soil and back into our water system if you're dumping them down the drain. So just bring them back to your pharmacy in the Take Back program. Another thing when you're cleaning your windows, check your screens. We've talked a lot about mosquitoes this year and mosquito-borne diseases and we never really know if it's going to be a big year for West Nile. So make sure that your screens are in good repair. And then I also say it's a good time when you're doing your spring cleaning, just check your fire and smoke detector mm -hmm. uh, and check your carbon monoxide detector to make sure that's sort of your spring cleaning health things to check in the house yeah those are all really great points I'm still stuck on the dust though because it is it is allergy season already isn't it we, we're coming in so we're just getting out of flu some people are still having their coughs and colds but we're just getting out of flu season coming into allergy season particularly for those who have pollen allergies so as we start to see the beautiful blossoms on the trees and the cherry blossom season is coming up and flowers that can be a really bad time for allergy sufferers, particularly for those who have allergies to pollen. So what you want to do is um, you can Google pollen count or pollen report and then your city or municipality and it will give you a green, yellow or red rating for how much pollen there's going to be that day. The best thing is to stay indoors on those days, close your windows. Um, pollen tends to be higher in the morning, pollen in the, in the air, so if you can avoid being out in the morning. Um, if you really suffer or someone suffers in your home, mm -hmm. taking your clothes off when you get home and changing into a fresh pair of clothes, even rinsing off your skin and hair in the shower can help. Um, not drying things outside like your sheets and, and towels on a, on a, a laundry line, um, particularly if you have somebody in the home. And if you have a neighbor that suffers or your mom or dad, if you mow the lawn for them, um, it, it can be really helpful for an allergy sufferer this time of year. Oh, those are all great tips. I like the idea of inside clothes and out, outdoor clothes. Yeah, and take, for sure take your shoes off. And, and, and you want to leave the pollen at the door if you can, so to speak. Instead of bringing it into the house. Great. Any other tips that you have at this time of year that people can cash in on? Well, we can't great. talk about getting outside and getting into the sun as a doctor without talking about sunscreen. So always want to put on, you should be putting your sunscreen on every day um, as a base layer, even through the winter. But particularly now as we're into the spring, we're outdoors more. Look for a Canadian Dermatology Association um, stamp on a sunscreen brand. You can pick whatever brand you like for your skin and just put it on your face, your ears and your neck every day. Even if it's an overcast day, you want to do that every day. And then make some nutrition goals with your doctor this spring and some activity goals. It's time that people are signing up for marathons this time of year and there's lots of fresh seasonal pro produce. So it's a good time to make some nutrition goals and get out and get active uh, this spring. You're getting me so excited, even though it's like minus 15 in Toronto right now with the wind chill. It's true. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thanks Dr. Thanks for Huber. having me. Dr. Jolene Huber, a pediatrician and professor of medicine at the University of Toronto, joining us here in studio.